It may be hard to believe our country's involvement in the Vietnam War was more than 50 years ago, and some of the veterans of that war still have yet to receive a proper thank you for their service. That's the reason for a special event this morning at the Bay Pines VA. In fact, News Channel A's Peter Bernard is there live right now. And Peter, we are hearing that this was a very emotional ceremony today. Good evening, Jen. Yeah, you can't help but feel a patriotic tug at your heart when you think of all the sacrifices these men and women had during the uh, Vietnam era. Just behind me earlier today uh, stood men and women who fought an unpopular war, then came home to a hostile crowd. And what so proudly we hail. Under the shade of majestic oaks on a cloudless morning, Vietnam War veterans, their families, and supporters gathered. Our own chief meteorologist Steve Jervy emceed a program for a long delayed thank you and welcome home. For many, it's 50 years after the fact. You had a lot of Vietnam veterans that come back that could not adjust because of the way they were treated when they returned. And uh, we can never make that up as a country. The only thing we can do is prosper by our mistakes and not let it happen in the future. Many Vietnam veterans here are part of our country's history. This iconic newsreel footage captured the last to leave the American Embassy in Saigon before the North took over. Sergeant Smith was on the chopper flight just before this one. With 42 Marines by his side, he took down the American flag on April 29, 1975. We were on that rooftop surrounded by 100,000 North Vietnamese regulars waiting for those choppers to come. More than 58,000 U.S. military didn't make it back to the U.S. More than that have died since the war ended. For decades, many have questioned if Vietnam was worth the lives lost. Without our country willing to step forward and say, you know, we're ready to go to combat to prevent the spread of communism, communism would be still with us today, and there's no longer a threat. Today's ceremony also offered a sincere thank you for the more than 1,000 still missing in action. Many of those who survived are still battling demons with the suicide rate high amongst Vietnam veterans. Efforts to reduce those numbers are ongoing. Back to you, Jen. Renard, live for us tonight. Thank you, Peter.